What's going on guys? I wanted to show you just a real simple blitzing concept that you can use out of the nickel 335 wheel that's going to get pressure against gun bunch, whether they max protect, whether they block a running back, block a tight end, or if they just don't block anybody whatsoever. This is a really, really effective basic blitz concept that I really like to use. And this is going to serve as a preview for my new nickel 335 wheel defensive guide. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, but I also want to let you know, I just released my 335 wheel defensive ebook it's on sale for just $15 if you want to get the entire defense this is the defense that I think is really the culmination of a lot of the things that I've been working on at the beginning of the year in Madden 22 and I really think if you're looking for defense this is this is I would argue the best defense of the game for several different reasons number one it's in the Chicago playbook so you can get access to the three other major defenses that I've released so far this year, but you can also run a significantly, uh, a significant more match defense as well as significantly uh, just, I think, really glitchy pressure. So that being said, let's jump into the video. Like I said, it's a simple five man pressure. It'll come in typically against Bunch. Um, it'll come in again, whether they max protect, whether they don't max protect. It's really good. The thing that I like about the 335 will is that it's really, really good with universal pressure. You can do it out of any play. And also it's really, really, really good against tight end delay fades and tight end blocking. I think that there's a lot of good blitzes in Madden 22 right now that are very good for running back blocking, but they're not necessarily super effective for tight end blocking. So uh, I build a defense that is gonna be very good for that. So without further ado, cover four palms is the play that I like to use with this. And what you wanna do is you wanna put your fastest linebacker right here so as you see for the cardinals talk about isaiah simmons i've subbed him in that position and uh, this is again very good against gun bunch delay fade so all we're going to do really simple all you have to do is show blitz you're going to blitz the linebacker on the right side of the screen so that's going to be thompson and then you're going to QB contain, and you're going to stand kind of right here. And what you're going to see is, at the snap of the ball, you're going to get this really, really nice gap pressure. Okay, Seems really simple and very effective against this defense, right? Very, very good blitz. The, the problem is going to become, well, okay, well, what happens when they start blocking people? Well, let me show you a blocked running back right here. Um, the blocked running back, to be honest, is probably the best tactic that they can utilize. Now, we do have some things that you can do to be able to deal with the blocked running back. One of those is to simply take this linebacker on the left side of the screen and man him up on the running back. So, as you see right here, we're going to man that guy up onto the running back. So then when I run the blocked running back, you're gonna see oftentimes he's gonna stay over on the left side. That time he actually came and came over. Let me show it to you one more time. Again, these blitzes are really, really good against a blocked tight end. If you ever, if you are having any issue with the running back, I'll show you one other thing that we can do here in just a second. But I wanna stay on this concept here just for one more uh, example. Because again, you're going to come down, go left, just like that. And that's kind of what I'm used to seeing. The blocked running back essentially will freeze in the middle of the field. If he blocks the guy that's manned up on him, normally we'll do a really good job of basically staying, you know, kind of right in that area. Now, like I said, if the blocked running back is giving you any problems, all you need to do is take Williams right here and man him up on the blocked running back. Whoops. Man him up on the blocked running back. And then I would just user this guy. Okay. So the setup is exactly the same, except the only difference is instead of using him, we're gonna use this guy. And as you can see there, he freezes and you're able to get the pressure. One of the real power, I think power, power resources within the 335 will is this guy right here is technically a linebacker. So you can easily, you get linebacker adjustments on him just like that right there. And as you can see, that allows us to be very, very flexible with like manning him up out of gun bunch. And to me, this is one of the most effective tactics for running back blocking in Madden 22. As you can see, it's just absolutely abusing the blocked running back. So now I wanna take it up a notch. What if they delay fade their tight end? So we're just gonna go with this base setup right here. Very good, very effective. And all I'm gonna do is delay fade my tight end. So I just want you to kind of watch what's gonna happen here. This is fairly consistent. And I guess right there, we're a little inconsistent. It might've been because we stood still before the ball was snapped a little bit too long. So let me kind of get that set up just a little bit faster. But this is if they delay fade their tight end. And normally what's gonna happen is Isaiah Simmons will loop around the edge if they delay fade their tight end. So uh, let me show it to you again here. And you'll see eventually he'll, he'll start uh, looping around. I might need to get a little bit more down in the middle of the field here. But what you'll see is he'll typically kind of loop around and get the pressure. 
And I know for a fact this works against Max Pro. I'll show you Max Pro real quick. With Max Pro, this blitz can be so this blitz is absolutely deadly against Max Protect. It, it truly is. You're gonna see right here, Max Protect. And for whatever reason, the linebacker is being a little weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call a timeout. Again, this sometimes happens in practice mode with some of these glitchier pressures where you're sending two or three and you're trying to get in against blocked, whatever. So I'm just going to sub in some fresh players here just so that we can kind of get, um, again, just so we can kind of keep, you know, from the blocking resistance or whatever to, from being built. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to sub some fresh players. I'll leave uh, Isaiah Simmons over there, and then I'm going to put Buda Baker down or just some different safeties. And we're going to run that same concept out of the cover four palms. So uh, so anyways, so if they if they delay for their tight end, so you see here I'm going to show blitz. Blitz that linebacker and QB contain. Now what you should see, and there you see what I'm talking about. Very first play he comes in. You see how he does that little glitchy disengage and he loops around the edge pretty much every single time. I love that about this defense. I think this is super, super effective against a block tight end or delay fade. It's one of my favorite reasons as to why I really do like the 335 will. And I'll tell you that that play with Simmons will actually happen significantly more. Like let's say R1. If he's not on a drag, I found that that comes in even more. So, like, if he's on, like, a corner route or flat route, you see you see your loopers coming through. You oftentimes are going to have, um, you know, somebody's going to come in. So then that brings me to the max protect aspect of this. So the max protect aspect of this, you see here, this is kind of the blitz setup. As you can see, we've manned up that running back. We've got that guy on his, on his route as well. And what you'll see against that is your looper oftentimes will come completely clean against max protect again using that same strategy and this is why you know having someone like a buddha baker and this is a little bit more of an accurate representation of what you're going to have um in a, in a mutt situation you know you're going to have someone like a diablo there or a jack tatum or whatever and so they're going to come in even better the running back i'll be honest with you is going to have a significantly harder time picking this up so that that being said guys this is one of my favorite 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 blitzes in the entire game um just because it's so daggone effective if your opponent is running you know gun bunch if they're trying to you know just do this right here there you see completely clean pressure against max protect and we're only sending four people we're literally only blitzing four people and we are pretty much guaranteeing ourselves that we're going to get a significant amount of pressure looping through that gap, as you can see right there. So this is truly one of my favorite pressures in the entire game. And this is one of the main reasons why 335 will, I believe, is one of the best defenses uh, in the game, if not just flat out the best defense in the game. So if you want to learn the entire nickel 335 will defensive ebook, all you got to do is grab the ebook. There's going to be a link down below. You can get the ebook for $15. If you want to get all of my ebooks in Madden 22, I actually put them all in my true fan membership. Uh, my true fan membership is for those who want to support me the most. It's $10 a month and you get access to everything. You get access to exclusive tip videos, gameplay videos, and every single guide that I've released. So far in Madden 22, I've released eight ebooks, I believe. And so if you want to get access to every single ebook, Again, all you gotta do is sign up for the True Fan membership. There'll be a link to both of those in the description if you just want the single individual guide or if you wanna get the bundle, um, that's gonna be down there for you as well. But again, just 15 bucks for the 335 wheel guide, which is gonna update all throughout the season. Or um, you can pay 10 bucks and get access to all of my eBooks. Uh, my, I think I have two offensive eBooks and six defensive eBooks out. And I've got a couple of more offenses on the way that are gonna be off meta, a little bit more uh, spread style, which I'm pretty excited about. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to get my uh, 3 through 5 wheel defensive ebook, just head on down to the description or click the link that I put in the comment section.